You don't want to say a quick hello? We are going swimming, aren't we? No. Yes, we are. I just did a little 20 minute Stairmaster, but I feel like something's better than nothing. Now I'm trying to find a tripod. This, I found one for 20 pounds on Amazon. This girl's trying to sell it me for 25 pounds on Vinted. So I'm not having any of it. I've got an iced latte. Oh, I never drink, is. never drink iced latte. Oh my God, you're lying. It's literally come up as if, yeah. welcome, welcome back, back. Pumpkin, from the love. We're already out. Oh my god. What the fuck? So it's not, it's not it's ready. It's the 1st of September tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Or the day after. By the way, guys, are you recording this? What do we reckon? Oh my god. It's for all the Final. football fans. Final. Final of the cup. Penalty? penalty shootout. Is that brackets? Yes, please. Watch that video about probably 300 times. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to go swimming. And then we're going to the Saints versus Chelsea game tonight. But this is just like a a bit of a week in the life. Saints game tonight. Saints game. I've already said the Saints game. Well, we do a lot of um, like mini breaks and like when we go away. But we think this is our real life. Here we are in David Lloyd. This is our real life. You know, just get to know the real us, us humble people from Southampton. We're gonna be late jeans keep falling down my hands are full i'm dehydrated because we went in the sauna but then the i'm dehydrated but i need the toilet so it's like what do i do um but we're en route i can see the stadium they really can't hear us but what's the score two one to saints and we're at the right side so we saw all the action we're in, also in the rowdy part um heard the c word quite a few times but it's going great Test. Oh, I don't want all the mayo -y bit. Mm. That's not too bad. Not a sweet chilli though. One last bit. I'm not angry. Mm -hmm. Smarty smoke furry. The most underrated. This is the realities of coming out for dinner with your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for it. Quite down. Yeah, but it's nice to come out for a meal and keep you. Do you pay for it? We've come to TGI Fridays today because um, I have cried after every shift that I've had at work this week. And today was just too much, wasn't it? Yeah. So we've come to get food because we've got no food in that. I mean I didn't actually buy food to make a salad tonight but when you've just had a mental breakdown and a horrible day at work you don't really want to make a salad do you? So yeah we can come out for a nice Friday. On a Friday? Yeah. Where are we? We're in the interactive room. Ooh. What are we doing? It's Millie's my little sister's birthday. Little birthdays. Look at this. Do you know it's what? Don't you think it's funny? Because when I used to come to places like this when I was a kid, they'd just be like so shit and tacky and yeah, like man. just like not very nice. And this is actually like really cool. Uh, enjoy Southampton and Derby. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. I just asked Charlie if he could stir his own rice. And he picked off at me. So I've come upstairs. I bought a new makeup bag today. It's just from TK Maxx, obviously. DK and Wine. But I've decided, because this is my old makeup bag. Look how much shit is in that. And it's just full of like crap that I don't even like or use. And I honestly wear makeup probably about once a week, if that. Like hardly ever, maybe once on the weekend. But I just really want to start investing in good makeup. Like I used to be really into expensive makeup when I was like 30, not 13, that's a lie. When I was like 16 and I used to babysit, like I was honestly top babysitter. And I just used to, whoop, used to spend all my babysitting money on um, makeup. Like I collected MAC lipsticks, that was a big thing. And I remember I got to 15 on my 15th birthday and I was absolutely gassed. But I just thought, it's like red inside, 
it's quite cute like i wanted one that i actually liked and i feel like this is a good color because if you get foundation on you're not really gonna tell but what i'm gonna do tonight is wash all my makeup brushes because my makeup brushes this is like that oh what is it like i mean the things even come off mac 224 and it was like in the youtube days like the jacqueline hill days it was the ship another thing i want to do is i like really invest in my skincare and i'm gonna get like a skincare bag as well and i'm just tomorrow i'm gonna sort out all of my like makeup jewelry so yeah we're gonna ditch that and we're gonna start again and i'm gonna go on charlotte tilbury tonight and start making a wish list it was it was so uncertain about where that was gonna go making spicy chicken pasta this is a really healthy one but i'm gonna put it on tiktok so go and watch the tiktok to find out how you make it but i'm listening to joe suggs youtube video how ironic as we're here making a youtube video also we do need to go to the bottle bin spicy chicken pasta very nice as per usual is it your favorite meal that i make yeah, it is what have you got there chocolate cake yummy yum 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 <gasps> What's that? It's your little coffee. What little coffee is it? Making spice latte with no whipped cream and two shots. Oh, thanks. How was golf? Mmm. Why does it taste nicer? <gasps> because they've... Right, guys. Okay, so if you get pumpkin spice latte, but you put cream on it, if you, unless you eat it immediately, it is just like Americano. But if you actually get it without the cream, then it is actually latte milk. Because last time it was so watery, wasn't it? Yeah. So thank you for that. It just tastes incredible. The best thing I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm editing this vlog now. Stick around to see the... We didn't... Ugh, I just even can't. We literally had an argument about this cream situation he's actually agreeing with me in this video that he knows about my cream my whipped cream situation so i am right all the time oh my god let's put you on here i fucking hate content days well actually i don't i do really enjoy them but they're just they're just a lot they're just content days are a lot because i don't think anyone actually unless you do it I don't even get fucking paid for it, so it's even less motivating. But I will do one day. Yeah, unless you do it, you don't realise, like, the fucking state of this bedroom now. And now I've got to clean all of that up. And it's just a bit of a nightmare. I mean, I was going to go to the gym, and then I was just overwhelming, like, need to just film a load of desk videos. So I've just filmed a load of videos, which I'm going to spend the evening making TikToks out of um i really want to like actually hone in on my social media because i was thinking about it like content has always been what i love creating like making tiktoks i've always loved that and especially love like video content as well like i don't really like taking pictures um so like tiktok and reels is and obviously youtube is the things that i enjoy um and i'm really trying to like i'm going through a bit of an identity crisis at the minute on tiktok um because my niche, like I don't have one. A lot of people have like fitness or fashion um, or like uni or just anything. Like some, a lot of people on TikTok that have a like, not a massive following, but like a relatively decent following. You usually have a following for a reason and I don't. And everyone followed me f because of weight loss and like running and heartbreak and neither of those things i'm really doing at the minute like i'll run once a week and i'm not really on a weight loss journey and i'm also not heartbroken so it's kind of difficult because i'm like what does my audience actually want to see and i'm basically trying to like rebrand the reason why i felt unmotivated with desk as well in the last week is because i don't want it to be like me like i want it to be its own separate entity like obviously i'm the founder but i want it to be like a business where like i'm not the brand if that makes sense so i have got a photo shoot next week with different models i'm still going to model as well but i just think it would be really helpful to have different models that can kind of represent the clothes um but obviously i'm not i can't do anything about that right now so 
yeah um i'm rambling now i'm gonna try and clean all this up maybe i'll leave the, maybe i'll do a little actually i was gonna do a little montage but for some reason my phone storage is shit and i thought it was really good and i literally have like no videos and every time it gets full so i probably won't do a montage who's here when i need a shoulder to be gone <laughs> you no, no okay all right let me do it then sing off Who's there when I need a shoulder to lean on? I hope you're here when I need them demons to be gone. And it's not bad I fight them all on my own. No, my turn. Now, who's here when I need a shoulder to lean on? I hope you're here when I need them demons to be gone. <laughs> and it's not bad I fight them all on my own. Ruby, you so bad. Now, my turn. It's not bad because I'm not in <coughs> Hold on. Not very well. Yeah, when I need a shoulder to lean on, I hope you're here. When I need them demons to be gone, it's so bad to fight them all on my own. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's there when I need a shoulder to lean on? I hope you're here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was we had a free drink, but we didn't use it, did we? No, we thought we'll save it for a rainy you day. You need to make sure you get a large one when you get your free drink. Yeah, that's true. I think this is our third or fourth pumpkin spice latte vlog, isn't it? I just can't go anywhere else when it's pumpkin spice latte time. I always get two pumps of pumpkin spice syrup because it's so much better. But she put in four today. I can tell. I can tell. They were quite busy, it is a Saturday, so I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But when I have too much sugar it in like one go, it really doesn't sit well with me. I used to be like it in school. Like I remember when people used to bring birthday cakes and oh my god, how cool would a pumpkin spice latte cake be? Would it be? Pumpkin spice coffee cake. Yeah. Can you open the door for me? I've got my hand I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Why have you made me walk all the way around? Sorry. Um, so yeah, it, I, yeah. When I was in school, they used to have like birthday cakes that people would bring in, and everyone would have it on like morning break at ten o'clock. And I would have some, and I literally would feel so awful for the rest of the day. So I'm not very good with that. We've also been shopping today. That's my new bra. So I'll do a little haul when we get back. This is Charlie's Range Rover, by the way, everyone. Yep. Skirt. Look at the dust on that. It's a temporary thing, isn't it? No, this is full time. This is this is all I've got. Everyone watch Billy Horse will stiff it. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Stunning. He didn't get it in the hole though, did he? Stunning. Look at that. Look at all. Billy look at that. the hitman. Get a man that does it. He's taking it back. I can't do it. It's too strong. And I do think, like, I don't want to be a dick, but when you pay, like, £4 for a drink and it's not what you want, I'm going to fucking question it. But obviously, I'm just too fucking scared. I don't know why. I don't know why I've become like this. When I was a waitress, I feel like, when I actually did that job all the time, I feel like I was a lot better at doing things like that. And now I'm really bad at it. Like, I went to go get a bra fitting today. And, um... I was just so awkward and I felt really bad asking her to keep running back and getting it. She honestly got me about 700 different bras. Literally half of that bra shop I tried on um, and I felt really bad. But then I'm like, what else are you going to be doing? Like folding, well, you don't fold bras, do you? Folding knickers and, you know, putting stock out. It's probably a bit more entertaining. So I don't know why I felt bad. But I do want to do a little haul, but I feel like not in the car because it's just not the vibe. Um... But yeah, and I used my business account for the first time. So I'm going to start a desk vlog because there's a lot going on with desk um, in the next sort of week. So I'm going to do a separate desk vlog, running a startup. Oh, hey. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. I thought you'd have to re queue up. Let's give it a taste test. I just walked straight to the drinks, but. Hold on. This, that's got whipped cream in it, like. Oh, <gasps> no! But it's, it was made first. So. Yeah, I just don't really like the cream, but oh, I'll well. deal with it. At least it's got only two. Thank you for doing well, that for me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Love you. Mm. Ew! 
this is literally five minutes later and everything. What I said before, you know, we just have one of those days, one of those weeks, and nothing's going right. And I said so many times about how I fucking hate whipped cream in it. Will it even be in this vlog? And he went and got me a new one. Lovely, appreciate that. But got rid of whipped cream, so now it's pointless. I may as well have just not even had it. And I'm I'm being a bit of a brat, but like it just is fucking dishwater. I just went downstairs, threw a folder across the room, and then burst into tears. My period is due. I'm just gonna pop you here. I put the ring light on because it's a bit dark. I'm absolutely freezing. I've just had the worst time ever. It's just been a bad week. It's just been a bad old week. I had a meeting with my old dissertation supervisor because I'm doing like a presentation for her. Obviously, I haven't spoke to her in like a few months now. But she was just like, so, what are you doing now? And I was like, honestly, I don't know. She was like, it's all part of the process and I bloody hope she's right. I just thought I'd do a little haul. This is actually what set me off. What I'm about to show you now is what set me off. Um, I'm a big boob gal. Okay, always have been. I've never gone for a bra fitting in my life. And it is mainly just because I didn't want to hear what bra size I actually am. And I just had a whole mental breakdown downstairs about the size that I actually am. And that it's really embarrassing. I'm going to tell you because it's a conversation that needs to be had. Please don't judge me because I'm so embarrassed by it. Like, I've been wearing... I've been wearing... What's... So this bra here... 36 double d and like it has fit me fine like that it has been a little bit sometimes overhangy but like in general it's okay like it's not the most comfortable bra in the world um so i knew that there was an issue i knew that it was bigger and i've been resenting it anyway went to the i actually wasn't planning on having like a fitting but i had to ask this woman because she just got involved when i was asking charlie and look at the fucking size that is the same size as my head. That is a hat. So apparently, guys, apparently I'm a 36 double F. <laughs> like, you can... They are quite big. But I'm not happy about it. So I'm going to try it on again. You know when you try it on in a shop? But it did fit so much better and it felt so much more supported. But I just refused... I just refused to think that I was that big and I was just, it just kept on going up. She, when I got to E, I was like, can't be an E. And then she was like, we'll try an F. And I was like, oh. And then she was like, we're gonna have to go up again. And I was like, we can't, but apparently we had to. Like I've always known I've had big boobs, but I didn't know they were that big and it just fucking freaked me out. But I have been to the NHS a couple of times about getting a reduction, but more when I was like in school and they said no. And I think probably just cause I was a bit younger. But now I can actually say, look, my boobs have not stopped growing since I was like... I've had the same boob size since I was probably in about year nine. Um, yeah, maybe year ten. And, like, I lost weight last year. And they didn't change it at all. So it is just a problem. Um, but there is, like, certain criteria you have to hit and, like, mental health yeah, it, like that has to really plan it which it does and i think especially because of like being in fashion and doing you know like desk and stuff that is like i have such anxiety about like filming and shooting just because of my boobs like that's what ruins all the pictures it's just how massive my boobs are um and obviously that's like my job which then leads into well not my job but like you know my business which then leads into like a negative impact on my business i go to the doctor's I'm going to try and get an appointment on Monday, whether that will actually happen, um, and see if I can get it on the NHS. If I can't, then I literally am going to use all my savings to deposit and get it, get like a loan out. I could cry now, but I'm not going to. Anyway, on a more positive note, I wanted to try. I never treat myself to expensive makeup, ever. You know when you buy cheap lipstick and you just lose it or you just don't care about it and normally you use it for like a couple of weeks and then you kind of hate it but i found a photo of me when i went to edinburgh with maddie and 
I had this lipstick on, and I have no idea what it is, but it's like the most insane colour. And this colour is really similar to it. It's like an orangey pink. I mean, I'm not going to try it on now because I don't have any makeup on. It's the new MAC Powder Kiss... Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. And I've been seeing it all over TikTok and it looks incredible and it smells nice actually. And it, it smells nice and it feels nice on my skin. And then the other two bits that I got are actually for my desk shoot. I just wanted to take, I've asked um, like the models and I'm going to bring some of my own tops, but because we're only shooting three pairs of trousers, I just wanted to bring some like stuff that can be styled with the stuff with the trousers and obviously the pink goes with like the hot pink if you want to do two-toned or it can go really nicely with the black or the blue to be fair and like the thing is i used to wear such fitted shirts when i worked in an office and i just hated them i hate the fit of them and as well like if you're a big boob girl wearing fitted shirts are actually the worst thing that you can do to try and actually be appropriate and i also got this blue one as well which i actually think will go better with like the hot pink the blue and the black uh, and i actually think i'm gonna wear this in daily life just think i want to be i want to be that girl but anyway guys um next vlog's gonna be a desk one and we're also going to do a house tour as well we keep saying that but we just want to make sure that there's like every time i'm like oh i've ordered something new let's wait till that comes so we're like nearly finished with it now so i feel like in a couple of weeks it'll be a good time to do a house tour too but thank you very much thank you to everyone that's been watching the journey and yeah see you later